Hey guys, and welcome back to VAD Resales. I'm Natalie, and I'm a full-time reseller. And today's video is about the top 10 men's shirts that you should be on the lookout for at the thrift. We got bolo after bolo, so let's just get into the video. All right, so this is just gonna be a quick and informative video. If you're a new reseller, this video is gonna be great for you, but also if you've been in the reselling game for a while, but wanna learn more bolo brands you might not be aware of already, this is also a good video for you. So we're just gonna jump right into it. First up, we have a brand called Turnbull and Esser. And if you look up their button shirts and you go to the condition and hit used, because most of the time when you go to the thrift store, you find used items, not new with tags. You can see that there are 401 listings available. The value is obviously high. As you can see, it's in the 40s up to the 90s, but we do want to look at what's sold, obviously. So we're gonna scroll down and hit the sold items. And there's 465 soul listings. So a very high number of soul listings compared to the available listings, which is always something you want to be on the lookout for. It just shows there is a lot of demand for this brand. And if we look at the value here, we got $50, $70, $70. It looks like one person messed up with the uh, $9.99 here, but that was bidding. I would not do bidding for this brand. As you can see here, you get a, a lot more if you just do one price buy it now type of feature so definitely a great brand to be on the lookout for here is a close-up of their brand logo i don't even know what this little thing is supposed to represent but made in england this one is the exclusive one and whatever you can see that it has on the tag in this case it says exclusive if it says something else it could be classic fit it could be regular fit slim fit limited edition always include that in your listing as well as you can see this person did use it here exclusive and they got it for 50 dollars. and this was actually a bidding too the next one might be a little bit more well known is called filson now filson is a great brand to be on the lookout for and not just with their shirts so i already filtered it to used and there are over 1900 listings sold within the past 90 days and the value obviously ranges a little bit. You see $30 and then you got $100. But for the most part, I would say for a regular button shirt, you should be looking around the $40 mark. If you got a flannel, definitely aim for higher. Flannels tend to go for higher than button shirts, no matter what the brand is. And uh, I just mentioned there are over 1,900 listings sold within the past 90 days. Let's see how many are available right now. 2,000. So there's almost as many sold listings as available. We're looking for quick flips, not those who just sit and collect dust. So that's why you want to have as high of a sold items number compared to the available listings number. If it's higher, even better. But anything that is close to one another is a good pickup. Here is the brand tag for Filson. It literally says Filson on it. Moving on to the third one, we have an Italian brand and pardon my pronunciation here, but we got Brunello. Cuccinelli. As you can see from just the used available listings, these are listed very high. So this is a high value brand, high quality, and let's look at the sold listings. So there are 450 pre-owned listings available. Let's check out the sold ones. 290. So this one is quite lower than the uh, available listings. It's not the type of sell rate that you are on the lookout for. It's not terrible. It is not terrible. What we do, if the value is really high on the item, we don't care too much about the sell rate. We'll pick it up because as you can see here, $80. This person messed up. Do not focus on this one. $70, $100, $75, $120, $80. You know what I'm saying? So if the value is up here, but the sell theory is kind of meh, we still pick up those items. It's only the items that might yield $10, $15 profit only that we do focus solely on the sell theory because obviously we don't want to have that one sitting in our inventory for six months to a year or even more for a $10 profit. But for Brunello Cuccinelli, we're talking, you know, $60, $70 profit. Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> and here is a close-up of their tag, Brunello Cuccinelli, made in Italy. So very simple label here. Next up, we got another Bolo brand here, and they are called Howler Bros or Howler Brothers. 
we have picked up their flannels, their t-shirts and their button shirts and they all always sell. So definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for here. There are 1,700 listings available within the Halibro shirt used condition. Clicking on the sold, there's 1,600 listings sold within the last 90 days. So definitely a great sell through it here. And uh, a common thing that you'll see in basically any brand is someone messing up like this one. $10 and shockingly was a bid. Never focus on the outliers on both sides. The, the low outliers and the high outliers is not something you want to focus on when you're looking at the value of an item. You kind of want to look for more of the... Uh, the range in the averages, if that makes sense. So we're looking at 38 and 25. Okay, someone took an offer from 28, 28, 20, and 30 and 28. So we're looking in the range of, I would say 25, 30. Here's a close-up of their brand tag. It says Hello Bros. Number five, we have Holderness and Born. I think we picked up three polos from them and they all sold very quickly. Won't make you the most money. But you should get it around $30. As you can see, there are 1,000 results for Holderness Born Shirt and 837 listings sold. So almost the same amount. So it's a it's a very good sell through rate. And they're selling between $20 and uh, $40. So like I said, you should get it around $30, but sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the condition, depending on do they have a golf logo on them? Don't be scared of golf logos. Many people are on the lookout for certain golf club logos. If it's a company, I would probably stay away. But golf club logo are still pickups. Their brand tag is also very simple. A slim rectangular shaped tag like this. And it just says Holderness and Born. And then in italic, they'll have what fit it is and where it's made. Tailored fit made in... Korea. Number six is my all-time favorite brand to be on the lookout for. It always sells fast. It always sells for a lot of money. So I don't really like to share this one, but since we are talking about the best men's shirts to be a lookout for and to sell, I can't not mention Roback. Roback is an amazing golf apparel brand and their logo is and a little outline of a dog with, with, I guess their paw is kind of standing out. We have picked up their polos and their quarter zips and they are flying off the shelves for a high dollar amount. I'm talking 60 to $90. Here are some of their comms. As you can see, $60, $60. Another person messing up with the bidding and got 20 bucks for a roll bag. And that's why we don't do bidding unless we're willing to take a huge hit on the profit. <laughs> this is the dog that I was talking about earlier. Their logo with the little <laughs> bowl hanging out. And their brand logo just says Roback that is printed on right there. Here. With the dog on top of it. My mom actually ended up finding a quarter zip by Roback. And she had never heard about this brand. But she felt the material. She brought it up to us. And she asked, is this one good? And we just, oh, yes, mom, that's Roback. So even for a person who is not a reseller, if you feel the fabric of Roback, you just know this is high quality. Number seven, we got Grayson. Grayson's logo is a wolf head. So we've gone over a monkey head. We have a dog for Roback. And in Grayson's case, we got a wolf. So just be in the lookout for animal <laughs> type of logos. <laughs> so for Grayson, Grayson Polo, there are 3,300 listings available in the used condition, obviously. We scroll down and we hit sold items and there are 1,900 results. So about 30% less amount of sold listings as there are available. Don't be too freaked out by the fact that, oh, it's, it's you know, only 2,000 or 1,900 sold listings. But then there were 3,000 listings available. That difference is a little bit significant. It's still not bad. It is not bad at all. It's not great, but it's not bad. And also, you can see that people who are buying Grayson Polos, there's 1,900 of them in 90 days versus a brand that had maybe only 200 listings available and 210 sold. So sell through rate was higher, but way fewer have sold. So that's also something to take into consideration. It's just way more of an active brand in terms of way more listings and way more buyers than other brands that might have a better sell-through rate. 
Did that make sense? <laughs> In short, people are looking for Grace and Polos, not just a couple of hundred of people, but 2,000 people every 90 days are looking to buy Grace and Polos. So it's a brand that people are looking to buy while still not having an insane competition with only 3,000 listings available. And as you can see for the value here, we got $40. As you can see, one thing that we see all the time, bidding, yeah, not a great idea. $15 and $13 for a Grayson Polo. And then if you don't do bidding, oh, uh, boom, $35, $24, $29, 33 Yeah, you should be getting around $30, $30 and up. They also have a rectangular black label, as you can see here, with the spell out. This one can be easily missed, especially if the lighting hits it a certain way. You can't even see that it says Grayson on it, but you can feel it. It's it's a nice stretchy material on their athletic golf polos. And also, they will have a rubber logo. At least all the ones that we have found had a rubber wolf logo. And this in this case, it's at the bottom. It can also be on the back of the neck. Number eight. If you thought we were done with the animal logos, you thought wrong because next up, we got Psycho Bunny. I was actually joking when I said, oh, look for animal logos, but it turns out that's not so far from the truth, is it? We got monkey, we got dog, we got wolf, and now we got bunny. Psycho Bunny can't really miss this type of logo. It's a skull bunny type of design on their logos. This is a brand that won't make you the most money, but are just solid sellers that you should get around $25 for the polos, I would say, to $30 maybe, and then slightly less for their t-shirts. Here is their logo. Let me just click on this one. Right there, we got their embroidered logo. Again, a skull bunny with some bones underneath it. How cool is that? And then there is their brand tag, Psycho Bunny. Once you see this brand logo, you don't forget it. Number nine, we have MMA Elite Shirt. MMA Elite Shirts are known for having big graphics on them. Sometimes front and back, could also just be one-sided. A lot of skulls or just wings or some type of design on them. As you can see with these comps, a lot of design going on for the MMA Elite shirts. The more the merrier, like always, and the crazier design and the more design typically leads to a higher sale as well. For the long sleeves, you're looking at around $40. For short sleeves, it might be, you know, $30. But even this one, $50 just for a crazy print and a cool color. I don't hear people talking about MMA Elite shirts, so maybe I should have kept it on the low low anyways let's just look at this one for the brand tag right there it's just printed on mma elite i i mean if you find a vintage one it might be a papery tag but the modern ones printed on obviously so within the past 90 days there are 889 solds let's just for curiosity's sake look at how many is available 810 so more sold listings than available and they're selling for $30, $40, and even some more. Mm, that's what we like to see. MMA Elite. Number 10, Oral Florin Purple Label Shirt. Regular Ralph Florin shirts, we don't really pick up, unless it's the big or tall. But with the purple label, this is their high-end label. So literally, if you see a purple label, Forget everything else about, oh, the size or the print or, or whatever. Does it have to be different? No. Purple label is a pickup. Now, I will say the sell-through rate is lower than a lot of the other brands that I mentioned. So there are 1,500 Ralph Lauren purple label shirts available in the use condition. And there are 989 sold, so about 1,000 sold. So there are 30% more listings that are available than sold. However, like I mentioned, the value is worth the pickup and wait a little bit longer for it to sell, at least in my opinion. It ranges, obviously, it will always range on comps, but look for the more average here. And we're looking at around $50, $75, $79, $65, 58. All right, guys, that sums up. 
top 10 men's shirt brands to be on the lookout for. Hopefully you didn't know all of them and some of them were news to you. So you picked up some knowledge here. You can be on the lookout for it when you go to the thrift next time. A lot of the times we see people typing saying that I just watched one of your videos. I learned a new brand and I found it the next day. That is just weird and funny how it happens. So I'm just saying, if you find a brand that I just talked about today, tomorrow when you go thrifting, let me know in the comments. Also, what is your favorite men's shirt brand that you like to pick up at the thrift that I did not mention in this video? Leave a comment because I'm looking to learn as well. We can learn from each other. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.